hello everyone uh, welcome back to another tutorial so today i'm going to show you how to use runtime virtual textures to blend this grass and other objects with the landscape so for example if i move this sphere here you can see when it comes to here it gets the color of this uh, brown landscape the road color dirt color and if I move it here you can see it's getting this uh, green color similarly if I move it to this yellow area you can see it's becoming yellow so also if I go to the landscape and paint so here I have three colors uh, four layers grass dirt and dead grass color so if I paint some dead grass over here like this now we can see here in that area the grass is also become has become uh, yellowish see like this so in the runtime the grass color is also updating according to the landscape color so yeah actually we implement something like that previously in this fortnite styled grass tutorial video but uh, there that process was manual i was manually taking a screenshot uh, from above and using it as an input but here it happens automatically using runtime virtual texture so also if i draw some more path here you can see the grass is removing but the remaining grass becomes kind of brownish to properly blend with the landscape okay so that's what i am going to do today and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for your support hello everyone so if you have followed my this fortnite styled landscape tutorial here when i implement in this uh, this is the same project i have i implemented a way to blend the ground color to the grass color so pro to properly blend it so as you can see here uh, here this road has brown texture and this grass area has green texture and as you can see here grass in here is uh, blended with brown and these grasses are blended with green and this is in this area i have a yellow texture underneath similarly the grass also have a yellow texture so the way i did it was actually it was a it was not a convenient process it was a manual process what i did was first i created the landscape material and then textured uh, then painted it then i went to the top view and implemented and uh, turn on this mode and took a screenshot and save it and then back inside the grass material like this i used that texture i generated to blend according to the place of the grass in the world space to match the ground color now if you do any changes to the landscape painting colors or anything it wouldn't reflect in the grass that's because the texture I have used here is not going to update in the runtime. So I am going to fix that issue today using runtime virtual texturing. So that we don't have to manually take a screenshot from top view and export it and import again and we don't have to do any of that. So right. Alright. So first. Well, I'm not really going to explain these materials in detail today because I have already explained in the Fortnite style grass but it's just a texture blended into the ground color that's all so also this landscape material as well it's just a simple texture with four layers 
simple uh, textures with four layers and I can paint any of those layers that's it right now first I have to go to enable runtime world virtual textures enable virtual texture support okay and I have to restart this so let's restart the project okay so the project is restarted all right now let's open so first where is our materials here I'm gonna create a new virtual texture I'll call it RVT landscape color and yeah also we need another one RVT landscape normal okay right now uh, I am going to uh, oh. add a virtual runtime virtual texture volume to the level like this so here as the source actor I'm going to select the landscape then uh, using this pick actor no you I'm gonna copy rotation and copy bounce so it will be yeah enlarged to cover the bound of the uh, actually it's not completely covered maybe only one section let's see maybe there is a limit to the size oh can we change it let's go to the top view no let's leave it like that for now I don't think that would matter much okay then as the virtual texture I'm gonna select the landscape color now again select the landscape and under virtual texture give this already landscape color okay now still we don't see any of any output here now I'll open the material the landscape material and here uh, this is cross output we don't need that at the moment right here I'm going to add a runtime virtual texture output now as the base color I'm gonna return the result of this node which is same as the base color of the landscape and hit apply right now you can see here oh, uh, we can't really open it yeah and uh, but now you can see here we have this RVD landscape color and this uh, color of the landscape is rendered into this virtual texture now let me open the grass material and get runtime virtual texture sample here select the RVT landscape color 
right now uh, instead of this input which is going to be B I'll use the base color of the RVT oh, for now I'll just uh, directly no connect it like this okay and apply right now as you can see here we have the same effect as before and to further clarify this let's create uh, let's put a new sphere like this I'll make it a little bit larger okay and I'll create a new material MRVT test as the input use uh, get uh, run time virtual texture sample select virtual texture this landscape color and connect it to the base color and assign it to this sphere now here you can see this has the same color as the ground underneath if I move it here it becomes green see kind of like camouflaging So this is runtime virtual texturing and uh, uh, seeing a one application of runtime virtual texturing. There are many other applications we can use. Uh, so this is a one application. If I put it here, it should become yellow like this. Okay. We can use this to properly blend objects like rocks and other stuff to properly blend with the landscape okay and what about the normal output because here for the grass I have used no I don't need this so I'm gonna delete this part oh, wait I'm gonna delete this part and here I have used this landscape normal map uh, manual rendered one so I'm gonna replace it with the virtual texture so here no here uh, for the normal I'm gonna use this yeah actually I used it before to render the manually manually render the normal map of the landscape so vertex normal world space yeah I, I'm gonna plug this into the normal output and apply and can we ah here yeah. so instead of this input for the normal let's use this and apply so we don't need any of these codes now remove it and yeah actually I created another RVT landscape normal so we don't need it actually it was a mistake right so now you can see the landscape is properly blended with the grass and if I now do some painting let's say let's add the uh, dead grass let's paint some dead grass area like this now you can see the grass is also 
we come in that color in the runtime without any issue like this so it's very convenient for us when we make the game because if I have to manually take screenshots and uh, update the map manually it's not practical see and if I paint it like this you can see this this sphere is also becoming yellow all right so if I paint dirt we can easily make another path and actually the grass is erased there and in the edge you can see the grass is blending properly okay so that's it that's how you use runtime virtual textures that's one application of runtime virtual textures there are many other applications so all right we can stop this episode right here so as always project files will be available for the download through the patron page link would be in the description below and thanks for watching see you in another episode goodbye